Hi everyone, welcome to C Programming Aptitude Session. This is the first question. Int main if of zero, then print C and else if minus one, print C plus plus, else print Java. Predict an output of this code. The first option C, second option C plus plus, and third option Java, fourth option compile time error. You can pass this video, you can predict an output of this code. If I execute this code, the output will be C++. Why? Because if followed by zero means condition become false. So it never execute this one. So minus one indicates that it's a non-zero value. So that is the reason its condition becomes true over here. So non-zero values returns like true. So that is the reason it will print the C++. It never go for the else. If of zero means condition false and minus one indicates that non-zero value, non-zero means it returns true. That is the reason it is printing the C++. This is the second question, int main, int a is equal to zero, comma b is equal to one, c is equal to zero. If plus plus a, comma b, comma c plus plus, then print c, else it will print the c plus plus. These are all the following option. First option c, second option c plus plus, C, third option is compile time error and the fourth option is no output. You can guess the output of this code. So if I execute this code and here output will be a C++ and here if followed by the three expression, expression one and expression two and expression three. So expression one is zero. So here zero means so condition become false. And one means condition become true. And we always focus on the last expression. That is the reason I have written this comment line for you. Value of the expression three is written for the whole expression. So that is the reason we should consider the expression three also. If the expression three is zero means it's a condition false, condition false, definitely else part will be executed. In the else part, we are printing the C++. So here three expressions separated by the commas and here is only condition become first, but we should reach till last expression and the value of the expression three is written for the whole expression. This is the third question in a is equal to null and if print f percentage is a and print c else part print c plus plus. These are all the following option. First option is C, second option is C++, third option is compile time error, and the fourth option is runtime error. If I execute this code, so C++ will be printed on the screen. And here, this is the null array, character A of array is equal to null, and printer followed by percentage S and followed by the A. And here it prints nothing. If it is prints nothing means it expression written zero. I will repeat once again, this printf, it prints nothing. Okay, so expression written zero. If expression written zero, if followed by the zero, if followed by zero condition false, so else part will be executed. So it is printing C++. This is the next question, int main, if printf, Inside the double quote zero and print C else print of C plus plus. These are the following option. First option is C, second option is C plus plus, and third option is zero followed by the C. Fourth option is zero followed by the C plus plus. You can guess the output of this code. If I execute this code, output will be zero followed by the C program. And here print F followed by the zero. Okay. If it is this is not zero. This is put it in the double quotes. So that is it's print zero first and this expression returns one. So if it is returns one means so definitely it will go for the first block. C will be printed first. It will print the zero and inside the double quote. That is the reason this whole expression. Okay. Returns one whole expression returns one. So here in this case, I have uh, removed the double quotes. So earlier it was like this. So now I remove this double quotes now. 
your compile and run this program now also this whole expression it will print zero it is not printing anything the expression returns it true so that is the reason it is printing this c and here one more case i will take i don't want to take this i will completely use only zero I use only zero condition become false so it is going to the c plus plus so if i use print printf followed by the zero so it evaluate as a true that is the reason it is printing c no zero will be printed but if you keep it in the double quotes now it will print zero also expression returns one and it is go for the c this is the fifth question uh, if not printf uh, just a double quotes and printf and c and else part printing the c plus plus predict an output of this code the first option is c second option is c plus plus third option is compile time error and fourth option is runtime error i will execute this code now it is displaying the c the first thing is printf followed by here this returns always zero why because it prints nothing it prints nothing so that is the reason it returns zero and because of the not operator okay condition becomes true over here zero means false you can say and because of the not it is turned into the true okay that is the reason it is printing the c so printf followed by the double quotes it's written zero why because it prints nothing and the next step not operator i'm using because this not operator this condition become true that is the reason it is printing the c kindly practice well see you in my next session thank you